Let's like put Decori over here. Never mind. Never mind the mutant game. Anyway. Well, I took one down. So this could have gone better. Slightly. Uh, hello and welcome to a viewer submitted survival map that has a weird map layout. If you take a look at the mini map, you can already see that all the mutants are in the northwest, and actually only one of the giants managed to spawn. This usually indicates that a huge part of the map is inaccessible. In this case, only the northwest will be accessible. And aside from all the mutants, the Doomtown has to be also somewhere in that area. So basically, playing a rather small map with a lot of combined firepower for the zombie, at least in the early game. This means I'll have to play carefully, manage my resources well, and get ready for a big onslaught on mutants, which can, as you already saw, easily go wrong if the mutants attack too early and you're not prepared for it. The map was shared with me on my Discord, so if you want to play it yourself, you can find it there. I hope you enjoy the run. The uh, soldier has this down here. Ooh, so I'll take. Good gear. I'll keep the soldier here just in case. Something sneaks past my. Oh, here we go. Again. He wasn't there. Gotcha. Yeah, yes. You call that a plan. Gotcha. Yes. And a doom down gotcha. over there. Great. Are you sure? All right. Attention. Gotcha. Great. Building completed. Okay, a new task. My bow is ready. Uh, let's go. All I need is a uh, lot of snipers. Oh, there's a giant up there, actually. I thought there were no giants on this map. Seems like map generation generated one giant. One lonely giant. <laughs> At least all the mutants spawn. Is that a good thing, though? I'm a bit skeptical about that part. Yes, I'm gonna try to pull in the runners at least in the ones. No one gets overwhelmed. What? Go. Get a hunter cottage here too. And then, oh, good enough gold for farming. I do like uh, that we get some like, towers and gold we'll pick up at the start, it makes the start so much faster. So. Very nice. Oh, I guess I can't build this there. I want to be here. I still want to build the housing. Which I guess I'll have to see if it complains, because there's the Tesla Tower here. Oh, start getting a bit of iron. Yeah, if I don't get this iron... This one will last for a bit, but not forever. Don't want to let me build there. Oh, oh no, you read Attention. Building completed. Attention. You are gonna 
Right. I'm on a high target priority. And too many runners nearby. It's to be safe. Please for the sawmill in the corner here. A lot of executive. Oh, Great. You and they're probably you are gonna pay me multiple this. runners from the Doom Town already. Yeah, gotcha. You call that a plan? Gotcha. Yeah. Are you sure? Attention. Roger that. You know, yeah. great so far, I guess. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Sure. Building completed. This better be good. You again. I, mean, I guess she wasn't veteran, but. Right? Is that all? I was kind of hoping she would last a bit longer. Okay. Oh, back to needing energy. You should move all over again. Well, last time I lost the ranger later, I think. Few more tents and then I'll need footage to go. Yeah, seems like not the best place to push. Probably should have uh, research footage tech instead of building another energy already. Search it now. What? Roger that. Are you sure? Is that all? That so is a weird uh, survival map. <laughs> Attention. Your oh, it doesn't let me later. build here. Ooh, the bone is Lucifer. You again. Gonna be convenient when we pull mutants, maybe. Yeah. Yes. Someone will have to remind me that I have a Lucifer, though. I'll forget. Oh, getting a bit more wood production already, ready for cottage tech. Hey, Phantomas. A kind gesture. Tone still wants to kill me. Price is there, I suppose. Guess I should kite with a veteran ranger so the non veteran ranger gets veterans. Assuming we still live, obviously. Yep. Are you sure? I'm not sure what's up as this Doomtown sending runners this much this early. Any infected around? And nothing to offend them. Nothing. This better be good. Attention. Building complete. You know what to do with your channel points? Aren't there other units to bother? Marvel at having them. Complain at the stream or that you have them. Show off to other chatters that you have them. Get depressed that you have riches that do nothing for you. 
There's a couple of options, really. Uh, let's get a market. I really wish this was slightly different here so I could get another energy and the quarry here eventually. Yeah, I mean, warehouse somewhere here would be nice too, but I don't want to destroy a single for it. I could destroy these four, and I guess now I would need to destroy even more. Yeah. The warehouse later or somewhere else. my second mayor or the loser right uh, i need to find more places for energy I, mean, I could still build this here because i don't need more like if i get this stone i don't need another stone until i get space for a stone workshop anyway I think. but at least build temporary energy down there three cups of coffee too many it's approximately three cups too many Complain to my streamer all the time, he ignores me. Oh, I guess seems like a smart person. Attention. Building completed. Attention. Building completed. I guess I should have built this farm one down and I could have built it better here. Still go Ballista first. I guess I'm a bit late for it. Uh, no, I will probably. Yeah. Yes. Great. Faster than my bow. Completed. You are gonna pay me for this, right? The real problem is the amount of mutants I want to pull together. Me not having enough troops for that. This is a temporary energy, probably. Assuming I want the stone down here eventually. Still, uh, not researching ballista. You again. A new task. Attention. Building complete. What do you want now? What? Right between the eyes. Sounds I mean, wave is day 11, so I still have time. Research ballista. Yeah, if I can claim like this side over there, that would help a lot. And we kind of push too far forward again with the mutants and everything. There you go for energy. I guess I'll get the soldier center here then. Okay. Use up the rest of the food. I mean, I'm gonna get one more farm here anyway, right? And then save towers in the
that. Research the snipers. Because I guess that's what I'm going to do now. Some towers for defense here. And then start poking. There. We have a few snipers. And the Vibear, I mean the Doomtown and the Mutants. Yes, I could build one energy here. That would be semi like semi safe. Not much is gonna come from there if I leave like a soldier something there. Probably fine. Now I'm out of energy. So do this and then. Once I have gold, pull the energy there. Well, I guess I could build one here too, right? And then later get the stone from here. Anyway. Build some walls at least, I suppose. Yeah. The sniper production. Blunt. I mean, I got more out of here than I thought I would actually. That's why initially I wanted to expand like until here or something, so we get all this. But I guess I get a decent amount of stuff just from this pocket here. a second soldier center would be nice. Okay. Wave. I guess with the towers there, I can actually continue pushing here with the rangers now. Get us out already. Maybe build something there that is okay to get infected. Like, I guess a second soldier center over there, for example. Might not be a worse choice. I guess I do have the workers for it, right? Okay. Let me close there. And then I assume this this mountain just goes up somewhere along here to the mutants. I'll just build more towers for now until I have base over here and want to do something with it. I'll just sneak you somebody over there. Also, I should make sure I can build walls. Not a good sawmill position over there, actually. Is that all? Great. I'm sure. What do you want now? 
suppose my income is suffering a bit too now. If I take a while before a second soldier center actually pays for itself. Do I want to go all the way in there or not? I guess it's 13 either way. Fortunately, my Tesla tower doesn't reach far enough. I haven't pulled any mutants this try. <laughs> I suppose. Multiples last try though. What do you want now? Oh, more orders. Straight to the heart. Sniper is ready. Yes, tell me. Are you full in the corner? I guess it's a lot less, right? Oh, here we go again. This is here. I guess energy would be here. If I want to build the soldier center like that, too. Yeah. I guess what else am I gonna do, right? Sniper is ready. You are gonna pay me for this, right? I mean, so yeah, the side. I mean, if it gets infected, that's unfortunate, but we'll make our hold here. Timely reappearance. The dungeon awaits. It's just uh, get more snipers out faster, so I'm ready to deal with mutants faster. So. Hey, H Warrior, how's it going? Thanks so much for 39. Oh, still should be producing snipers at all times, though. gonna build the energy here so because if it gets infected and then I build too many things and lost energy and my towers here aren't shooting that would be kind of an issue. This better be good. Attention. Building completed. What? You are gonna oh. aim for this, right? Didn't expect to pull harpies here. Good deal. Who's up the last tech level? Can't you get energy in the far corner and still? Thirteen sawmill. I mean, if I build a sawmill here, it blocks there, like this corner. I mean, now I can build the energy here. But yeah, either build the sawmill here or here, which gives the same amount. But if I build it here, I can build the energy closer there. Unless you mean something different. Okay, I mean, how many snipers do we want? I mean, I might pull a lot of mutants, right? I kind of would like a shocking tower, actually. <laughs> For the doom tower that we're gonna pull. Maybe I'll just, yeah, wait until the second wave. Defend the second wave and then we use the snipers. I could use the snipers over here in the hopes of not pulling as much doom town. But then I don't have the tower support, right? Like, that's the trade-off. There's no training noises. <laughs> I mean, I could... Maybe I use the snipers during the wave, actually, that, so we really start getting some XP, and then probably by the time we clear the wave, the first mutant pulls. Oh, true, yeah, I have Lucifer too. 
definitely didn't forget about that at all. Hmm. Not sure how I'm going to use him, though. I mean, maybe it's just the uh, one stuff starts falling. Or, like, we flank with him from this side. I mean, I'll have him nearby. Just please. If only we could put him in tower. Okay. Thinking the front lines of can live. I mean, he'll be great for clearing afterwards, too. Just, ideally, I don't lose him to a mutant, right? Because he'll be good against all the trash zombies. Oh, I'm out of iron now. Guess I didn't think about that being an issue. My one iron income finally crumbles at double sniper brand. <laughs> what a surprise. I mean, I could try sneaking this year, but it also might get infected. And I mean, the next wave is soonish, so. And my income is kind of low now, anyway. For double sniper production, I suppose. Yeah, I'm just waiting out the next wave, basically. Or. We'll defend the wave with the snipers and everything. With one fighting ranger over. Okay, Lucifer. Ready to rumble. Oh, wave is coming from the east. I guess it'll take a while. Get some iron quickly. This is a temporary quarry. Sniper if I've ever seen one. Would have built it earlier, but whatever. Is actually, yeah, okay. I guess when I said east, I thought it would come up here and then in there somewhere, but yeah, it spawns all the way down there. I guess it makes sense. Sure? What soldiers in that looks great. It's an excellent choice. timing what I'm doing here. Okay. And the cost of double. Okay. They are attacking 
Hmm. In the ranger lift. We're not targeting the harpies? Like, the harpies are living a long time. Right? In my tower over here, though. Yes. Are you sure? Okay. I hope you're not wasting my time. Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? Okay. I hope you're not wasting my time. Our are being attacked. Great. Our forces are in danger. That is un inconvenient now. Okay. Yeah. Right side is gonna fall. I mean, that was an option. All stop hitting all that side there. Lee Lucifer, Lee. I need to kill something. I mean, we're still going strong somewhat. rid of most of the mutants at least at least the close ones i think so probably don't need these walls anymore and lucifer lift too look at that now we're getting some xp snipers In the Doom Town. Reclaim my site here at least. Need the food back so I can produce more snipers. This the soldier still not a veteran. Slacking, slacking it. Sniper is ready. Your sniper at your service. Okay, well, let's bring all the snipers. Six or so mutants dead by day 22 is pretty Thanks good. Yeah. Especially well. since like we didn't have like an ideal housing area or anything. Went pretty well overall. Blood here. For soldier. They are attacking the colony defense. Attention. Building completed. They are trying to break through. Thank you. 
Time to finally claim some space. Still need some help here. Well, I guess the giant isn't far off either, huh? Maybe one ranger to pull that giant in. That real quick. This doesn't reach down there anyway. Too bad either. All giants killed by 326. Look at that. Curse of Doom, thanks for the prime. Just gonna take your wins where you can find them. Going another mutant. Oh, not here. Another entry point, yeah. Pushing in here, to be honest. I like, thought it would be more convenient. Must lead to the same space, I suppose. Oh, well, last of the mutants. There we go. All mutants cleared day 27. Work with that. Alright, what waves coming from the east? To figure out what exactly that means again. Ranger, I'm here, what can I do against a giant baby? I mean, luring the strongest enemy into a trap seems like a heroic task, no? This wave is coming down here again. I'll move the defenses here at least until here for now. I can do some farming here and build more housing down here.
You got some ballista support in there. No mutants and giants? I killed them all already. Killed them all. I mean, to be fair, there was only one giant, but... There were a bunch of mutants. Let's research bank. Although, I don't... I guess I don't have enough. to fully support them, yeah. Uh, workers, I mean. Okay, finally. Good again. I mean, I guess I could have just expanded all the way to the border of the map at this point. <laughs> I'm not sure why, what I'm doing here. But. A steadfast supporter. more from here Commander, for the human. I guess I we'll build a bank down here eventually Executor. And forget about it. We get stone housing while I'm here. Need more colonists for second bank. to build a power plant too. Oh, I shouldn't have picked up all the stone here. I'll need that. Eventually. Like another... Uh, um... Yeah, house would have been pretty great. Burn down my own units. Do I start mining south when I have energy? So I guess with the power plant.
Because I'll have to destroy the mill here. You don't want to do. You are gonna pay me for this, right? Yes. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yes, there's a bunch of energy to pick up. Yes. Attention. <laughs> Building completed. Now I do need more food, which basically means expanding north. Let me kill the Doomtown buildings here real quick. Done with that. All the mutants and giants were in the northwest. They're all dead already. And yeah, I'm just getting more snipers than clearing the corner and then. Get a few towers here for this side, and then I'll get this side there. Who's the first? You can go in the front and tank. So I'm in here. It's seven. This is going to be a rather long wall. Make the noise here, this should be mostly cleared here. Be able to aim this forward now too. More wood. It seems like we I got good wood in the beginning and then now we're just getting some better pieces, which I guess is okay. Could be better, could be worse. Yes. Uh, I'll reach a trucking tower just in case. Might be. F like, if I really tried hard, maybe I could get 10 or Titans in time. Actually, do I even have oil? I have one oil. Oh, I guess I'll get a second here. Might have the whole map in a second. <laughs> anyway, really need more wood. It seems like. Yeah, I guess this is the whole map to claim. Well, that second warehouse finally. It's the other bank maybe down here.
Wood unused by the lower barracks. Oh, that's here. I mean, yeah, I guess I would. I mean, once I go out to the other side. Eat away here for a bank, I suppose. Oops, or most of them back down there for wave. I can run in here. I was hoping maybe I only need to defend there, but I guess I need to defend along here too. Greatest housing areas I have, I suppose, but once I have. I mean, I can put some of them on chase, yeah. Oh, I need more colonists for the bank. Are they stuck here, or...? Yeah. Oh, there's no path there. Just not produce troops there then anymore. Wait, I guess. Oh, but nothing will come along here, huh? No, I'm not pointing any fingers, uh, but I heard more storage. Here needs them. But they'll hit here, here, and then I guess here and. Kind of start checking for um, advanced quarries and stuff. A few energy in those positions here. Maybe another warehouse up here to cover the second oil. I only get two. I'll make use of it.
Oh yeah, you got a sawmill here. I can get now too then. to put this on one ranger to defend you. Iron here. Okay, well, wave will come down to you, which is okay. I mean, it's not a big wave yet, anyway, so. Stone. Okay, well, now we're building uh, doing SimCity play. Another warehouse down here. Not sure it's gonna do much good though. Okay. There you go. You know that Tapset can turn any survival map into 50 days long? Nope. But that probably makes waves come earlier too, right? Like the beginning of waves. I'm gonna go Tanatos actually, like, I don't have enough oil for Titans. At least not. But I might even go advanced quarries first. We'll defend the next wave with Shocking Towers, even though I could get Tanatos, I guess. And the snipers I have. I mean, my income isn't that great either. Build some towers is all this free day. How about no? I mean, I shouldn't have built this many ballistas this early here anyway. But. Okay, got my oil. I'm actually gonna struggle with energy again, I think. Chase didn't um, do much, you know. I guess I'll have to get another power blunt. 
maybe. I mean, now that I have most or all my houses upgraded, at least to cottages, I don't need as much wood anymore. Anyway. Okay, research engineering center. You might need to face the fire next quarter. <laughs> wow. That's pretty brutal. How about we just keep him? The point in rushing anything? The tennis will hold the joke around the corner in the south. The snipers will hold the rest. Humanity wins again. I mean... Like, uh, next wave here could be... Like, next wave west could be super annoying. Because then I don't know where exactly it comes. I won't have um, everything ready in time. That's where Thanatos would be the safer choice, still. So I should have gone Thanatos right away. Where do I even fit the engineering center? Yes, maybe here. Which needs stone that I don't have. Okay. And I don't want to buy it. I'm not like making that much gold either. 30 stone. That's really all the stone I get. I guess so. That's not great. Silent Beholder, that's what, but that costs so much stone. I guess West Wave would be pretty bad. Twenty-five percent map, not nine hundred percent. Uh, we don't even have twenty-five percent of the map. <laughs> I mean, the beginning is still hard with the, all the mutants and the Doom Town nearby. Just after that, things cool down. Research ten atos. I don't want to use my stone right now. So I can build a shocking tower where I need it for the wave. And then I can go back to upgrading some housing. So you got 17%. Well, how many of you have beat 17%? Everyone can do 900%, but 17% for the real challenge. I'm building some towers for you guys. Yes, tell me what to do. Oh, it's okay. Here then. Right. That means I can upgrade some housing again. Resume sniper production. And then get the penetrance in as well. Do I need like advanced mills actually? They're so terrible though. Sniper 
Yeah, I'm dropping low on energy again. Yeah, I don't know if I want to build more power plants. I mean, the cost is down too, but maybe one more. Somewhere. I think I said nothing's gonna come here, right? Put some walls just in case. I mean, yeah, like, map score always depends on map you have, but also how well you play. Like 400k, 9%, that's pretty awesome. Even on a good map. Okay, well, we got the tenators even in time. I guess ideally you get wonders. Those. They would save space. The fact that the stone income is so terrible in this map is pretty bad. Actually, the wave is coming pretty slowly. Maybe I didn't even need the Tenatos or Shocking Tower. I guess it's slowly funneling down there. Some snipers along here, they might snipe them when they run down there. I feel ashamed saying I have around 1,700 hours locked in this game. It's terrible. How dare you? I definitely have way less than that. Definitely. Oh, I should have built the walls first before the towers. Now I can't build three layered walls. That's kind of embarrassing. That's 2,400? Jeez. How do, you have, how do you guys have so many hours in this game? I mean, I still have more, but... I'm also streaming the game. I guess I just buy stone, I suppose. So I can upgrade more housing. And then maybe research advanced farms. I have a lot of time left. Speed up button would be nice for this now, I agree. You're only on 25 million kills. I mean, that really depends what you're playing though too, right? Like, one custom map can be the same as doing 10, 900% runs. Or roughly. Yes, 10 it wouldn't count anymore, but yeah. Okay, we'll send the snipers north, get more snipers. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll need the advanced arms in a second. Unless I want to get the food wonder, which I mean also costs stone. And I guess then the same, like, where do we fit it? I guess I destroy some farms for it. Would be the option there. I mean, yeah, I initially wanted to play another impossible map, but that wasn't 900% when I loaded it up to check it. So I decided to go with this weird map. 
Okay, well, at least now I have some energy. I've created a bunch of mills. Like 30 upkeep, like it's insane how much they cost. Key spice. Free tower. Oh yeah, true, I have a free executor. I guess wherever the next wave comes, I could put it down, maybe. I mean, now I have Thanatos. I should have used it for the day 45 wave. Not that I needed it, but just to be safe. Definitely didn't forget about that one at all. Put snipers in those two central south towers. Which central south towers? Like, there's multiple here. Oh, those. Oh, those you mean. Okay, yeah. Now I get what you're talking about. I was like, you can't mean those. Central, central, not central of my base. Oh, it's coming from the west, though, so I guess help this time. Oh, I guess West is still down here. Yeah, I guess I still need stone for my walls too at some point. Map really suffers on the stone department. I mean, it at least looked like waves would walk along here, right? So maybe we can get some pot shots in. Bit further north than I thought. They are trying to break through. Okay. Wait, have I researched the um secrets yet? But the exit unit? No, I didn't want to build it, it's too much upkeep. But I'm gonna build it for the final wave if I remember. I need to kill something. I mean, I kind of wanna get a beholder actually to see the rest of the map, but it's so much stone. Well, maybe I'll upgrade the last few houses and then we get a beholder. How about that? I mean, I'm buying stone either way. Let's face it. 25 more than Ballista, yeah, that's a lot. I mean, Ballistas aren't cheap either for upkeep. Attention. Building completed. Attention. Building completed. Free Boulder coming in 20, that's also true, but... Then I have to focus on the final wave. <laughs> I mean, I could try squeezing units past this, actually. That would be a nasty surprise if you actually can walk here and this whole south and the rest of the map was populated and I was just casually doing <laughs> not important stuff instead of clearing map. Walk south. Just not populated. So I guess I don't need a beholder, I can just go exploring. Until I meet random waves. Uh, 
untimely reappearance. The dungeon awaits. I mean, this would have been a nice housing area, dear. Need to kill something. Sniper is ready. So many targets. Gotta love it. Hey, beer. Looking more and more like GTA 6 before them, too. I mean... Last night I if I was a betting man, yeah, I would uh, bet on GTA 6. Or maybe you shouldn't fight this. Two snipers against the wave here. Yeah, this would have been a nice spot to have. But for the random waves, flee, you fools. Or bait them over here. Okay, well, let's put the last few... Still, still need to kite and micro on day 54 to save my units. I think I've upgraded all my housing now, right? I guess I could work on that beholder now. I don't think there would be tab 2 with all the clones created already. I don't think a tab 2 would still do better than most of them. I mean, if it has the same quality as this one, then for sure. Okay, I guess... Do I get a beholder now? How much stone and iron, though? Yes. Uh, pick up the iron outside here. I mean, yeah, they're similar games. I wouldn't call them clones. It's games in the same genre. None of them felt like a straight up clone to me. Okay, well, me searching the holder. Then again, by the time I get it, <laughs> I might have the whole map anyway. I mean, the similar games. I mean, it's the usual, right? Alien Marauder, Age of Darkness, Diplomacy is not an option, yeah. Conan Unconquered. My rifle is ready. I mean, we sometimes name Rift Breaker in this line, but it's not really the same. I, need to kill I think I'm forgetting one or two. I looked at rogue command. Um, I only saw like a minute or so. I haven't seen anyone play it yet. I, I only saw the trailer of it. Um, I have to see if I want to give it a try. If it's the one I'm thinking about. Oh, from the east. Hide. Hide in this corner here. We've picked a slow unit to explode the map. My bad. I'll try to be worse next time. Oh, they're coming up there. Are they, are this, is this the tipping point where they go north now? Or are we still going south? Might split, to be honest. Thank you. 
Yeah, I really should have built the walls here first before I built the uh, towers. We would have proper walls. And some tenators to the north, just in case. Skullers down here, so I guess we're flanking maybe this A time. Steadfast supporter. No wave came from the end up south, huh? I I know one came down here, but yeah. I, mean, I guess yeah, it makes sense. Uh, uh, north has to go all the way to the north right and then come back in. Ah, you fools! Didn't expect that trap from me. I like how some of them are ambitious trying to get in here. <laughs> okay. The game, it looks the same as that, but has different factions would be perfect. Alien Marauder is science fiction, but it plays very similar and has, like, each hero plays very different because you get different buildings. Yeah, Age of Darkness has factions, I guess. There we go. I mean, it would have been a nice map if you could, you know, reach all the other places. I guess I should send uh, non-veteran snipers down here so they get veterancy now. <laughs> yeah, Alien Marauders. If you want same mechanics, then Alien Marauders is more what you want. I could bring my snipers here now back. Oh, wait, why were you solo and not with your friend? I can't build a tower here because of the iron walls. I mean, I could destroy my wood workshop and then build an executor here. I mean, range wise, the snipers are better anyway. This is also, I mean, this is not really important for our defense, it's just a gimmick. As I can. Not because it is a terrific choice. I really enjoyed the farm building between underhousing and Marauder. Really, I thought that was one of the weak points. <laughs> it felt wrong that you could build farming and housing and get the full effect of it. It's one of the things I didn't like about it. I mean, it made, like, building farming and housing a lot easier, I suppose. But it didn't feel like there was any choices involved then.
Well, they still haven't populated the towers here. Oh, the snipers were too slow. Thought they were inside already. Wait, why is my destroy hotkey not working? Okay, swapped. Uh, layouts. Sometimes I switch from English to German keyboard layout and then some keys don't work. Or, I mean, they work, just <laughs> not the way I want them to. Content is getting simpler and simpler. Are you planning on anything more exciting in tab? Well, as soon as you're making the next new awesome custom map that delivers higher standards than all custom maps before, I'll play it. If it's slightly below any other custom map, I will heavily criticize it, though, and not play it. Does that sound fair to you? I mean, you're coming at the end of a run that was all about the early game. <laughs> I don't know what you expect. And then last week we played the biggest tab map that ever existed and the tiniest one, which is completely new. Before that, I played two custom maps that were pretty hard. I don't think you'll be able to beat those no pause on highest difficulty, but I mean, uh, we happily be proven wrong by you. So, I mean, I guess, I don't know what, what you're expecting. I can't reinvent the game, like it's still tap. Oh, I guess you're right, Kirsten. I didn't pick up on that fast enough. Sniper is ready. Death, lovely death. My bad. How do you improve after playing for tens of thousands of hours? That's the wrong question. The question is, do I still improve? I don't think I've improved lately. If I have a challenge that I really want to beat, then yes. Like, there would be improving for the specific challenge, usually. Like, it's usually... If I'm playing a difficult map, you can see the improvement for the map. But, like, for a normal... playing the game, I don't think there's much change lately. Uh, I guess I still need more energy. A lot coming in here. It is a nice juggling, yeah, that does slow them down nicely. Which will also be nice for the final wave then. And they're still trying to figure out how to leave one zombie alive at the end to build score for eight days after final wave. Yeah, that's too hard for me. I can't figure that one out. Too hard. Since again, still improve is better custom at once. True, I could fit an extra house in there. I forgot about that already again. True. 
I mean, yeah, it depends on what improvements we're talking about, right? If you're talking about, like, general improvement in tab or, like, specific challenge or something. Like, let's say I'm going to do win streaks or something. It'll take me a week to adjust to that. Um, like, to find the right balance between playing greedy and safe enough to maximize the chances for winning. Like, there would be improvement for that. I mean, maybe even longer, but, like, the biggest parts will the first few days. Well, if I do 9% win streaks right now, I probably, I mean, won't get too high of a number. Or if I do play a specific hard campaign or map or whatever. Then, yeah, they will be figuring out the specific challenges, but not the overall. I mean, there's still stuff I could improve on for, like, normal um, tap gameplay, too. Some of it is also streaming-related, though. Like, sometimes the hard part is actually trying to still communicate with chat while playing whatever the current challenge is. This is a normal 9% map, yeah. It's just, I spawned here, and then all the mutants were basically up here, including one giant. And then the Doomtown was right over here. Awesome some skill required. Sniper is ready. Rate how fast you can win difficult maps seems to have gone up. Maybe. I think I also sometimes fast or go to, like, second highest difficulty. Like, I kind of stopped doing maps for a full week or two. And then still only get close to beating it or something. To be fair. Guys, you're gonna be proud of me. I'm gonna build this executor. I have improved. See? One thing I improved upon already. I remembered my mayor. Yeah, like rangers die too often early game still. Like there's small stuff where you could try hard more too. Been playing campaign a lot and switch over to 9% and then Bob sucks. <laughs> yeah. That's the worst part of a playing campaign. Also the best part of play playing campaign. Bobs are so good. Good old campaign soldiers. I mean, I probably should have gotten a veteran one though, let's face it. Do you fit so many people in such a small place? UK colonists? <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're happy living that close together. I would hate it. Well, didn't have too many options, I suppose. Almost won my first 9% map this weekend, but for no reason six mutants attacked all at once. Welcome to 900%. That's pretty awesome, though. I mean... Gotten close to it, then it's just a matter of time. Small improvements, bit of luck. That's all it'll take. I feel like the dragon now has been a net loss for the team. Probably, yeah. I didn't need it the one time I built it for. Record for mutants attacking. I mean, it would have been one of uh, the maps like this one, right, for me. Where all the mutants are in a corner and then... Yeah, you pull them all at once, basically. I don't know if I've ever pulled them all at once. I feel like usually like one or two are just out of range to be pulled. But I don't remember, if I'm being honest. Attention. 
construction. Building completed. Attention. Building completed. Oh yeah, Mr. Com yeah, Cataclysmo. I mean, I haven't played Cataclysmo, but I guess it falls in the same genre, but different. Beard would be the expert on that. I think... Played Endless until he just stopped playing, not because he lost. <laughs> so... That's when you know. You've done well. Okay. I mean, this should hold. Yes, since I didn't build proper walls in some different ways, I could fill the gaps with stone towers. If I had any money, I suppose. That's not helping. This looks like a messed up wall now. <laughs> Our fixing holes. Okay. Ryzen was actually custom map, and the final wave is all mutants, giants, and spirits. <laughs> that would not be a nice surprise. That was a thing for custom maps for a while, actually. That there was like surprise triggers or final waves were randomly waivers. Thankfully, that phase has mostly been gone now, but. I mean, yeah, that's. I mean, it's a normal 9% map, but if it was broad, it would have been better. A steadfast supporter. It was all about your early game, and then after that, I've just been waiting now. Okay, well, high target priority on all these things. It's a nice little town, though. Oh, see a little town. I mean, to be fair, the east would have been terrible to defend if we could have gotten there. Like, that's pretty open. Like, north? Great to defend just here. House, reasonably okay. Like here, for an example. Uh, along here. But the east is not great. Unless you just don't take the east, like stop here expanding, probably. As a little mountainside town, the Alps, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess there are some big cities in the Alps. I say. It's not a small town in, in in the Alps, but can't wait for spring and summer next year. We can go for some longer hikes again. Hopefully, multiple ones next year, not just the one. The weather here is already getting cold and depressing, so I'm I'm holding out for spring now. Preferred this game if all mutants as I have never liked the random like pull of them. I agree. I think mutants were a mistake. I mean if they fix them, then not, but in the current state, yes. I would agree with that. 
The problem is also though, like if you remove them, then like 900% would be too easy without mutants. Like the desert map is still fine. But Caustic Lands kind of relies on having mutants. What? Oh yeah, we still have our Lucifer emergency reaction. Group response, whatever. Yeah, like mutants promote a very defensive playstyle if you want to play like save for a win. Which is fine if you like that playstyle, but it should only be like one way to win and not like the best way by far. Maps? Was without mutants and giants? No, you still had giants. I mean, it depends on which version of early access you're talking, right? But mutants were the last zombie added um, on final release from early access. Before that, you still had giants. I think at some point you didn't have giants either. Um, but yeah, just no mutants. And that's what was the final map back then, not Caustic Lands. Which, that's what is still hard even without mutants. Because you pull so much early game and have so little food. While if you could play aggressive on this map without mutants, then your economy would be way too good, way too early. Yeah, Wonders were added at some point, Titans were added at some point in early access. I mean, some things in general were buffed or nerfed, like... Um, Titans were nerfed to... Traps were buffed twice, like before that no one would play with traps, now traps are the go-to for the first, uh, um, initial waves. Oh, just got buffed a bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, there were a bunch of changes and additions. Just can't believe there's an advanced normals. Yeah. Would be nice to have, but I mean, I don't know how often you would actually build them because most advanced buildings are terrible. Quarries is kind of the exception. For, I mean, they still have higher, way higher upkeep, but for them it's worth it. Like, I rarely ever get advanced mills. Because they're just too expensive upkeep wise. I mean, advanced farms. Usually, when you're getting advanced farms, at least for me, then it's usually a one map anyway. If you're talking like survival and not custom maps. There's some zombies coming over here. Yeah, they're gonna get stuck a lot here. I mean, I guess not that much is going up there, actually. It's all coming down here. Yeah, I have two oil pools. I have one here and one somewhere up here. There. And then both covered by warehouse. And then I have the... One Lucifer who takes up one oil, that's why 23 tenators. Yay! The bait here still works. Oh, it might overflow. I thought some would come in here actually, but I guess nothing came there. It's all only coming through there. It's the first time I've seen a shocking cow for the most. No, I mean, occasionally I still have one, but yeah, it's rare. I've used them for the, the tiny 20 day map. Because I didn't want to attack higher than Stonework Drop. They did great in that one. I 
really funny watching Zong. He's pushing each other through the choke points and seeing them rocket forward as they exit chokes, for example, to no support. Yeah. It's always so, so fun to see sometimes when, like, harpies push a... Like, if you have a bunch of harpies and then they just push the chubby super fast forward. Or a giant. I mean, it's usually not a good thing for you, but it looks kind of funny. I just like how the zombie is like a little water simulation where it's flowing and then some of it gets pushed into a corner here and then it's relatively still and you have some turbulences here and there. Always like that. There we go. Weird map down. Wasn't an impossible one, like the Doomtown was far enough away, I would say, but still a lot of mutants at the beginning. There was such a... this pocket here was really nice, though. Like if that was closed off here or something, that would have made this a lot worse. And it's been a while since I used the expand or outside base strategy where I feel an undefended look or mostly undefended location there that I'm okay with getting infected. <laughs> You're confused here. Do you want to die over here or over here? Eh. I've heard good things about this place. Nope. Let's turn around. Oh, oh. This is the last one then. I gotta watch this video from the beginning. Yeah, beginning was definitely the the interesting part for this one. It's all about the mutants. I mean it was helpful to get the Lucifer. I think I would have been fine without the Lucifer, but he definitely helped a lot, so safer with him than without. 